Bucky family says they have the greatest gift of all this holiday season, life. Now joining us now with how the heart team at Cincinnati Children's Hospital helped in this Christmas miracle is medical reporter Liz Bonus. Liz. Hey guys, good evening and good evening to you. It was Brandon, who you see here, it was his two-year anniversary, what they called a VAD anniversary this week. A VAD is a ventricular assist device that keeps the heart pumping when it cannot pump on its own. Today we caught up with his family and the medical team at Cincinnati Children's Hospital to share what they say really is nothing short of a miracle. When we first met Brandon Collinsworth, we shared with you that he was one of the first to have a device like this placed in a heart like his. It came up like a week before I needed it, so well, it worked out perfect, yeah. You see, Brandon was born missing one of the heart's pumping chambers. His medical team had run out of options to keep his heart from failing until this device. And it's the first one that's completely levitated, meaning that the rotary is, is floating in a magnet and never touches anything else. The remarkable part about all that is that it was two years ago since all that happened, and we had to come back and share just what's happening now on Brandon's anniversary. Not only did the heart team celebrate Brandon's VAD anniversary, as they call it, but Brandon and his mom admit the team has become like a second family. He's a miracle. We thank God for him because, because uh, God guided their hands, and without them, you know, he uh, wouldn't have made it, but thank God he did. And we, we love them all here. They're like family. Brandon's assist device not only keeps his heart pumping, but you see these numbers? The numbers tell me the cardiac output, so how much blood flow is going to his organs, his belly, his head. I know a lot about Brandon just by his numbers, so he can call me in the middle of the night and tell me his numbers and we'll say, oh, you need to drink two bottles of water. For Brandon, that means... I feel like I'm back to myself, energy-wise and all around. But Brandon's heart is also now sharing potentially life-changing information that could help others with heart failure, too. He's a trailblazer, so there are things that we learn and continue to learn, you know, throughout every day, every week, every year. Uh, and so that's really important, and that's why he's a special patient to us. I'm just truly blessed to have a team of doctors and nurses that I deal with on a day-to-day basis. And I mean, they're just angels sent from heaven. Angels, Brandon's mom says, that were sent just in time for a miracle he needed to survive. I knew I needed it to live, and for one, I mean, if I did live, that I could help other people out, so somebody has to step up to the plate. Do you believe in miracles? <laughs> yes, he's a true miracle. Uh, that team will continue to follow Brandon's progress. His only other option would have been a heart transplant, and the body has to be strong enough to withstand that significant surgery. Because he is a first, his medical team says there is still a lot we have to learn. Paula? Oh, thank you, Liz. And Brandon is part of a heart specialty care clinic at Cincinnati Children's Hospital, which allows patients who had heart complications as children to have the same medical team follow them as young adults.